see anything. No, I swear I just heard that curtain move. Must just be my mind. My iPad isn't here, guys. Yeah, you must think you're really funny by now, okay? Same thing three times in a row. This man is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to Simulacra 2. Now, you guys have been seriously loving this series, and so I'm going to keep that intro nice and short. Let's get straight back into this gameplay. Super quick summary of the last episode. We did a lot of investigating on behalf of Detective Morello. We had to basically conduct a witness with Maya's friendship group and basically see if they knew anything. Turns out as well, after the questions were posed to them, a couple of them did end up slipping up, and it turns out they may be hiding the real truth. The last thing we actually saw was was Maya's footage from her laptop, and it seemed to show her unfortunately passing, and it was very, very peculiar. I think they spoke about someone called the Ripper Man, and look guys, things got crazy, let's do this. By the way, uh, smash like to part four real soon. All right, we are picking up from where we left off. I say we go to the warden up first of all. We should probably talk to Detective Morello, because we never told him about what was going on. I found some video evidence. Ooh, select webcam recording? Let's share it with my guests. Uh, Maya's laptop, I guess we go in here. See, a lot of them are still sinking, so this one is the most important first and foremost. Can we select it? Hold on, first of all, scan it. Okay, a video confronting her friends about the Ripple Man. She dies suddenly shortly after. Aria, Mina, and Rex are seen in this video. We already know. So we'll send that his way. Let's see what he says back. Uh, Marillo? He's calling. You saw the video? This Ripple Man? I thought it was just an urban legend like that Jeff the Killer story, but, but this is proof. <laughs> Dang. They call me crazy. I'll show them who's crazy. No. I'll. I, I have to go. Too many ears here. All right. Near retirement and no damn respect. Can't even get privacy in my own damned office. It's gotta you suck, right? Should have been a pianist, but <laughs> no. I had to serve and protect. You're doing the good work, huh? At least Morello is interested. I'm not sure, guys, like, everyone's saying about this dude being a bit suspect. He's still really involved with this whole, you know, Ripper man. Uh, it, it is a bit questionable. Like, the video message we got sent in the last episode, too, of him messing with the camera, then we hear loud beeps, and he's, like, nodding his head. He's scheming something that we don't know still. Well, I'll be darned. This video is evident. Looks like she had a seizure of some sort, and these kids stood there just simply watching it. They lied to my face. What is happening? I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. This is very bizarre. Maya died right in front of them. And they all lied to us. The Ripple Man? A deal? We need to tell them to really spit it. I trusted. I'll keep looking. We can just show them this. I mean, we can. But do they really want to see Maya's death? It might be the only way we can get through to them, though. So let's pose the question. We have the footage. Good idea. That's what he says next. They don't seem to realize that they were being recorded. Let's use that as leverage. We need to figure out who this Ripper Man is and the deal they keep talking about. We're close. A little more digging and we'll get to the bottom of this in no time. Why didn't they call the cops in the first place? Maybe they, they see their friend them. ripped into confetti and all they can think of is to run and hide? Damn kids. It's those damn horror movies making us look bad. It cheeses me off. Someone tells the cops of an honest-to-God monster, and the cops treat it like it's a joke. Some of us take these things seriously, you know? We listen to our victims. This is why it's hard to know if Morello truly does have bad intentions. He's the only one interested in this case. The cops apparently tried to close it down. Find a way to restore the deleted group chat. So that's of importance now, the group chat over here. Um, hold up, we see discovered files here. So the last message Maya sent is contained in this group chat. Let me try and reconstruct. We might have to do some more digging before. We can try the death file. I doubt this is gonna work. It worked? New beginnings. A group chat with Aria, Rex, and Mina. The most notable conversation is about a boosting server that Maya was worried about. And that's what she said simply before she passed. Um, I have a question about the boosting thingy. Have you seen your new card? The one with the weird message? You mean this thing? Let's view it. Your confidence drives you and rivals with it. Wait, we got one of these. I did this quiz. What holds you back is the weakness of others in self-doubt. Improve your content and ambition by being quick, decisive, and ahead of the curve, no matter what it takes. Yes, that one. I don't like it. Seems very off. It's just some dumb personality-based upselling tactic. They try and psych you out to buy their stuff. But what does it mean by a deal for a personal sacrifice? I feel like TRM wants to trap us somehow. What is it asking to sacrifice? Seriously, Maya? Like they call you and say, Hi, may I have your soul, please? Stop it. Getting the card was creepy enough. Um, we can scan something first. Of all. Maybe I should ask Florence. She was using TRM before us. Okay, so TRM is the boosting service. Maybe I should ask Florence. She used it before us. But just think about the timing of it. We were always facing so much hate from our followers. And suddenly now we get 
this so-called offer to riddle that? And the card descriptions, it's like it knows our brands, like it knows us. I got the musical one. So is it stealing our data or something? Is it watching us? I'm just worried, okay? Got it, okay, okay, okay. It looks like it's tracking metrics, all right? So it scans my profile and sees my mad moolah skills. Bam, I get the Tycoon card. Kind of kooky, but I say it's impressive and also kind of tempting. Oh, I know, right? I just can't deal with all these people tearing me down. I got more hate mail today. People telling me to, you know, Oh my gosh, these guys not having it easy. So you think this service thing will make it go away? Haters, man, they're always waiting to call you. Anyway, this add-on sounds kind of BS though. We're just going to ignore it then? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, okay, as long as we're on the same page then. This is urgent, I need to explain in person. I'm not uh -oh. sure that I understand it myself, but- She still used it. Come over to my place tonight. Wait. I need you to be here, please. It's really important. This is why Maya suffered. Dude, I'm getting shivers. Why am I so into this? Babe, you okay? Maya, I've been so worried about you. Like, I was getting sick thinking about what happened. Just tell us what's up, all right? I figured it out. TRM, the cards, the deal, all of it. There's still a chance out of this. We're in danger, okay? Just meet me tomorrow, please. I need you guys with me. Maya's plea. Feeling threatened by an unknown source, Maya asks her friends to meet her at her apartment the day before she perished. You're scaring me, Maya. God, what have you been smoking? Have you been on the hip? Rex! Rex, stop being so freaking rude. Okay, my babe, you, you gotta stop having a rack attack, okay? Let's just a all meet up and sort this out what? in person. The free, okay? None of you are capable of writing. That's obvious. Yeah, yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, please just show up, okay? So, this was just prior, and then this leads on directly to the video of Maya. So, everyone else turned their notes up to the app, but... Man, I don't know what to say. What about these other messages in our phone? Hi Maya, Jason here, I'm not sure if you remember me, but we did that holy holistic spa shoot together, just dropping a line to say hi. Oh, hi, so how's it going? It looks like you're rising up the Camaro ranks. Always knew you had it, you're one of the few people that genuinely believed. I'm good and thanks. Did I annoy you? I'm not a big name in the fitness scene, I'm, I'm just trying to chat, you know? And I thought you were one of the friendly ones. Sorry Jason, it's just I've been getting so many strange messages from people. Strange? Strange strangers, like, because they think they follow me, they're like my best friend or something. Yeah, yeah, I get it, you know, we once had this girl that kept pestering me, and she was just cluttering my posts with these gross cutesy things and sending things to my house, no idea how she got my address. Then, when I told her to stop, what? she sent me a long letter in red ink, except I realized it wasn't ink. Blood? Well, at least the cops have her DNA on file now. How did you stay so cool with things? Just gotta take it as it comes, part of the job, right? We can exchange more stories over coffee, you know? Haha, <laughs> not sure if I want to relive all this. You sure this won't change your mind? Uh, wait, hold up. Do I really want to see- Uh, wait, wait, wait. Don't pretend to be your thirst trap. All that tight yoga gear you keep showing off in front of- <laughs> Okay, another one here. Is this Maya Crane? Yes? A voice message. Just we because you're them. famous doesn't mean you're not another stupid, dumb slut. Who the hell do you think Whoa. you are giving other Bro. people fitness advice when you are discussing land will yourself? Just shut up or I'm going to come over to your house, cut your tongue out, and make you choke on it slowly and oh, painfully. My goodness. Uh. My man, there's a stop button. One from Chrissy, hold up. Hi Maya, this is Chrissy here. Remember me? We met at the Jabra Networking Night. Just getting in touch because I'm such a fan. I would love to collaborate one day or just be like, you know, friends. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey Chrissy, sorry if I spelled that wrong. Wow, that was some night. I don't remember talking, but I'm always up for a collab with a fellow creator. What's your Camera account? Actually, I don't really post anything on my account. I'm just starting out. That's okay, you have to start somewhere. Actually, I just contacted you because you didn't reply to my email. I thought you was really rude, but you can't even reply to your fans. Sorry doesn't cut it anymore. I followed all your advice and your stupid tips and everything, and you can't even be bothered to talk to me. You should go kill yourself, you stupid- Whoa. This is like, it's not quite the same example, but this can happen, and it's happened for me a few times. Like, I have 2.2 million subscribers and sometimes you can see it where people get annoyed when you don't respond to them And it's like how can I have the time for that bro when I get like a thousand comments per video? All right, let's check Chimera a second Wait, I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting. This might be surprising, but I'm not happy with my life I definitely feel lucky and grateful for what I have, but it's not without hard work and sacrifice My influence is not an accident control is what I crave the most yet the longer in this field the more powerless I feel this platform is unpredictable I'm at the mercy of a fickle algorithm and fleeting interest. It's a battle. I'm slowly using or so I thought I found this through the ads and it changed the tide for me TRM gave me a level of control and I didn't know it was possible. What this is why schedule posts are such a bad idea. No, dude. Hold up. That's some bull crap right now. Do they even know she's passed? Hang on, hang on. We're gonna talk to Detective Murillo a second here. Have you heard of this TRM? Select the TRM card. Uh, with our down- Do we send ours or, you know, the one that they gave us? I can send mine. I'm kind of interested to do that. Let me send- 
Yeah, I figured this might do something different. Maybe? No, but it looks like another piece to the puzzle. I wonder if I've sent him the wrong one, so... Maybe that could be different. This must be the service they were talking about in the webcam footage. So how does this service factor in? They use it for work, Maya used it. The phone flipped out when I responded to the TRM ad. It did! A lot. It was very, very strange. First of all, Maya must have used it, because everyone else seemed a bit sheepish with the idea, saying it was like the algorithm or something strange. So let's see. Maybe there's something here, but how does this connect her to her death? Ask the kids about this. See what they have to say. All right, I'll go do your dirty work, I guess. What do you know about this TRM? And then we can select the card. Should we send ours or the diva one? Because I think if we send the diva, they're going to be a bit suspect about us seeing their past messages. You know, I'm going to do it though. It's the diva one. It's what they can relate most to. Let's see. How the heck did you get the old messages from a wiped phone? Rex, they don't know that we know the phone is wiped. Well, it was Ari's idea to wipe it clean and Mina just watched. How dare you? We all agreed to this. There's no point hiding anymore. So let's just be upfront. So you wiped the phone. What are you trying so hard to hide? Or tell me what is TRM? Hmm, let's try the... I'd say the bottom one actually, TRM. This is what they all know about. T-R-M? They're both chatting at the same time, right? All three? Are they all gonna say? It's a boosting service Myra has introduced us, or introduced us to. She said she was being haunted by it. She said it stood for Tailored Reputation Management, and then she called it the Ripple Man for some reason. She brought it up as a solution for our ratings dropping. This. Everyone knows they like inputting. I guess some people would sell their soul to keep their internet fame. I would never do that. Cranking up the blame train already, huh? You know, statistically, the accuser is always guilty. I couldn't even reply. It was a timed event since Aria got the ball rolling. I've got to be ready with this, dude. Oh, applying those statistics to yourself now, accuser. I just want to, like, say that I would never do any harm to Maya. How can a boosting service kill someone? Gonna be a juicy story if you're all guilty. Slow down and explain this properly. Yeah, they gotta calm down. They're all, like, freaking out. Take it chill, guys. The Ripple Man offered a deal for a great sacrifice. So someone must have taken the deal and sacrificed Maya. Someone, for all we know, you're the one who took it. Does that act of innocence come with a side of lies? I didn't take- Wait, one in the group did this, not Maya! Wait, was that why she was distressed? Yo, one of these is guilty. Yes and no. The deal can supposedly wipe out any bad publicity from our Kimura pages, either Maya was getting flagged. If you didn't pressure her so much, she might not have gone to such extreme measures. Pfft, you guys gotta learn to deal with these things in a healthy way. A deal that kills people? Is negative attention that bad? So Maya got you all into this. Let's ask the bottom one first of all. I wanna know how much input Maya had. She made it like it was gonna change our lives. We got a quota to hit, okay? You gotta be trending 24-7 or you lose everything. It's unfortunate. But it is true. Are you saying you took the deal? Hey, we all agreed to the service and I never took the deal. One of you sacrificed Maya. You spoke to Maya about this? What in the world did you get yourselves into? Now, it could be the other person from the other conversation that we had and we don't know about because someone got Maya into this in the first place. What in the world did you get yourselves into? Come on, guys, keep talking. I don't know what else to say, okay? This whole thing is so bizarre. You were at the crime scene. We can even show them the webcam footage, which we're doing straight up. <sighs> They ain't gonna like this, dude, but we're gonna prove it. Maya recorded us? You're all suspects. Did you lie to the cops too? Be a shame if someone leaks this. Let's say that, did you lie to the cops too? We need to know this. They're hiding something, right? I wanted to call the cops, but Arya said no one will believe us. Thanks, Mina, for throwing me under the bus. Yeah, that's nice snitching, Mina. You wanted to run away too. Ta okay, time out. Put yourself in our shoes. Who's gonna believe us if we said that some te face tearing monster killed her? You could have tried. I'm listening. Covering up was a mistake. Oh, I'm listening now. I believe you guys completely. So let's get talking. Oh, okay, fine. Not like I'm going anywhere. Thanks, mister. Let's skip town. I don't even know how we can start this. It all happened just so fast. She was fine freaking out. Wait, what? hold up, hold up, hold up. What happened so fast? <sighs> Dude, they're all typing. You've got to be snappy. I thought I was hallucinating or something. And bam, she just... She just... Come on, guys. Get the story out. It was like it was invisible at first. Her face burst open. Quite a story. You guys are talking too fast. What about this Ripperman and Deal thing? What about this Ripperman and Deal thing? Uh, um, I'm not, like, sure, really. Just something Maya named whatever the hell was. That was, all right. Who knows why? Yes, poor thing must have said it in fear. It was terrifying for all of us. I told you it was crazy. You're all typing. Hold up a second. I still don't get it. I gotta, like, guys, I can't even think right now. We were totally scared, okay? I feel like this was a decent one. It was all so extra. Why get involved when we didn't do a single thing wrong? We only lied about Maya being nuts before she kicked the bucket, and it wasn't a complete lie. She was kind of crazy. You guys keep lying to me. So who took the Ripple Man's deal? 
deal, the public might sympathize with you, but you've got to be honest. So who took the Ripple Man's deal? Let's get to the bottom of this story, right? This is important. 100% I never screw my over. So that's 50-50 between these two. Oh my god, you liar! Why don't I start with you, Rex? Oh, guys, I'm gonna have to, like, do a quick time event, I think, again. I know all about your get-rich-quick fiasco. Yeah, so do we. The real fiasco is mean as BS. Boohoo's story is backfiring in her face. What? Arya's like a total sellout. She even faked the whole partnership thing. Uh, did you name, uh, what's the fake shot? Oh, let's do this one. You probably took the deal to silence your victims. Oh, sorry, haters. Man, these guys are just squabbling. If anyone needs help for haters, it's Mina! I'm not the one trying to scare off my competition like Arya. Looks like I have enough for a juicy story. Let's take this one step at a time or you guys are terrible. I feel like the top one would probably stop them in their tracks, but I don't want to come across as that person. Let's call them all out at once. They are all terrible. Should have known better than to trust you flakes. They're just ignoring our messages. That's what happens when you team up with amateurs. I regret working with you guys ever. It's not like you have anything on me anyway, right? I'm done here. Ari is gone. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you got nothing on us. Why the heck am I wasting my time on any of you? They're so rude. Gosh, this is going nowhere. This is a big circle. So, um, you can't do anything to us, right? I can try to help if you want to speak private. Uh, bye. Mina's the only one who's basically trying to talk to me. Uh... Hello? Yo, every time I touch this... What the f Yo... The phone is just powered down or something. Who is this? This might be Maya. New beginnings. Seven oh six. That's all we see. And the phone is back just like that. Well, Rex, what's going on? Another thing, on my dude. You're gonna uh, keep putting your nose all up in my business and accuse me of all sorts of. Sh I am going to sue you for defamation and harassment. Good luck. Don't with that, make fella. me get my claws out. All right. You better chill, man. Don't try and make yourself look like a suspect if you don't want to appear as one. Any updates so far? You better not bail on me. I'd appreciate a response right now. I think I saw a vision of Maya. Nothing yet, I blanked. One of our suspects just threatened me. Let's talk about the vision. What? Good lord. This might confirm one of my suspicions. I'll explain later. Enough screwing around. Get back to it. Focus on getting more intel from the phone. This is worse than I ever thought possible. We are dealing with a simulacrum. A what? Do you know what this is? I'm familiar with those. Let's say, how do you know what it is? West, what is that? I've seen these things before. No one knows what these creatures are. But they all use online communication as a cover. Lurking behind websites, social media, and apps. I don't know what they want, but they sure love screwing with us. There are more of these? What I get myself into? What does it want with us? So, what are we dealing with here? What exactly are? It appears the Rippleman is this thing's disguise. Looks like this one named itself the Rippleman. Very interesting. It's one heck of a long con. It baits its victims by promising fame on Chimera, knowing that they will eventually slip up under the glare of the limelight. Then it offers them as a deal to remove all criticism for a price. It's a good deal. Popularity is a great asset. Bad press is better than... Now we go this one. Popularity is a great asset. I suppose being an influent means appearing influential. But I can't imagine being desperate enough to sacrifice a life for such a deal. Maybe they didn't realize that Maya was the cost. Maybe Maya herself took the deal. What a story. Let's try the top one first of all. I don't know if Maya would have been the one to take it. I have my doubts. One of them must have known. These selfish idiot kids. One of them unleashed this ripple man. This thing will claim more victims if we don't stop it. We need to go public, we need to find out who did it, we need to end the ripple man. We need to go straight for the source. Glad you're gung ho, but we can't risk another death. The deal maker will lead us to the ripple man. This deal removes criticism and brick baits, or brick bats, right? But I'm sure these kids did something to spark that backlash. If we find out what they did and why, maybe we can figure out who took the deal. How do we find evidence of this? But they're all equally suspect. How would that achieve anything? Let's ask the top one. We gotta try and figure out how we can potentially solve this mystery. The good thing about the digital aids? Everything leaves a trace. Start going through their social media. It's impossible to attach so much bad juju without doing something bad. Figure out what it is and confront them with it. That's leverage to squeeze the truth out of them. Whoever took the deal must have a lot to lose. Doing bad things leads to more bad things. I mean, we can say the first one, but at the same time, 
It depends. That's an independent way about how much they see. Precisely. They would do anything to defend what they've got. You're handling this solo for now. I need to settle some things. I'll approach them as a group. I'll talk to them one by one. Where are you going? That's a good question. Where does he keep disappearing to? I'm meeting the higher-ups. Is he gonna discuss this with them? D-O-O-P's. Survival hinges on this case, and I need them on board. Start with whoever you want, but don't talk to them without proof. They're looking for any evidence of them mucking up so bad that they were begging for a chance to wipe all that negativity away. There's a lot coming through right now. It's calling us. Another thing. Yeah. Watch your back. Okay. I I'm don't this like this seeing visions one bit. This rabbit hole is definitely not gonna end up in Wonderland. He's right. Something important to notice about that vision, guys. It actually did not go within the confinements of the phone. That means we directly hallucinated and we saw that. Hold up, we got this come through. Uh, evidence 3911B item 6 is not accounted for all handling officers involved in the case. Please report to the chief's office for an immediate debriefing. Is that where our guy went? Okay, so there's three new things, discovered files, Mina's image, recruitment, and a fashion email. Let's see, there's a couple more missing files. Mina's image, a chat thread discussion about Mina's public image involving someone named Erica, the recruitment one, an email thread talking about Rex's new recruit fashion email, an email with Aria relating to a popular fashion brand. So that one requires Erica's full name, the second one is Rex's new recruit email address, and the third one is Aria ties to a fashion brand. Now, we might be able to find the recruit email address on Rex's website. Wait, there's a deleted file here. A chat thread discussion about Mina's public image involving someone named Erica. Requires Erica's full name. Let's check through these. Okay, I don't see it. We'll check our mail next. So we're looking for Erica. There's two deleted messages here. First one, an email thread with Rex's recruit. So we need the email address again for that. Uh, an email with Aria. So we're gonna unlock a multitude of things once we figure these things out slowly. We'll load up Chimera. Let's see. Okay, we've got some stuff. New post below. This is from Bella. Uh, so let's face it, exercising sucks. Walk off a few minutes later, a bird poops on my head. Uh, yeah, thanks for that one. Okay, so I think the first thing we'll start out with is Rex's. So this is hashtag get Rex, Rex Keegan. So we have to find a way to get in here. So we enter our name. I'm just gonna put Ryan, you know how it is. We'll enter this. Let's see what happens as a result. Sorry, we are full. And not to worry, we got you covered. I'm extending my invitation extension to you once again. Find one of my previous students who attended my sessions, and they can refer you for a free preview session. They can be found orbiting around me, and they are more than excited to give you a rundown of my program. So what are you waiting for? Find that referral now. So if we go on Rex's page here, maybe we can try and find something here. Take a look through these comments. We can scan the image directly. Rex's validation. Despite his dubious side business, Rex is still recognized by legitimate organizations like BizCon and gets invited to speak. All of my life, people said I'd never amount to anything over and over again. I was treated like dirt despite my best efforts. Heck, there's even a whole group dedicated to my downfall. The coveted BizCon invited me to speak. I'm writing to you now at the end of a successful session. Full house and a standing ovation from the audience. All right, let's scan through these. Let's try and find a connection here. Um, all right, we'll see if we can see any similarities with the different chats. Click on this picture here. Pumped up clicks is immediately becoming someone who's like always around. Click on his profile, here we go. We can scan this. Currently part of the Get Rex movement to help you expand your brand and earn big bucks on Chimera. The recruit's contact, here we go. Rex's new recruit is a user named Pumped Up Clicks. They are offering it to be a referral to Rex's talk and they shared an email address. Info at pumpedupclicks.net. So that's our first clue done, let's do this. The recruit's contact, maybe this might be it. I'm not sure, let's see. It was it. So we reconstructed Rex's new contact. A new recruit of Rex is an employee at Maya's gym and planning to quit their job to pursue Rex's program. All right, so we can read this. My oh my, someone's suddenly grown a conscience. Touching. He can make his own decisions. It's not my fault he's such a puppy dog. I didn't force him to quit. Okay, I heard a sound in game. I didn't force him to quit. Just a few choice words on how working for me would be good for him, that's all. Don't worry your pretty little head about anything. Plus, his enthusiasm is good for my operation. Him being all excited to be in his faith in the program is gonna get more people to join. They love the genuinity crap. Is that a word? You're right about one thing though. He could be of a better use at the gym. Maybe I'll let him stay there. Find more people to join us. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. Thanks, Maya. Me and a whole load of people owe you one. Maya, thank you, thank you. Works is so much more than he described. He's exactly who I needed to help me decide what to do with my life. I I know I said that fitness was my passion, but I was lying. Rex sensed that. Wow, this dude. Exploited for cash. Rex, what the hell? I told you he's in debt. He can't give you anything. I only introduced you because you said you needed a personal trainer. You know, someone you pay? My express is a concern that Rex would exploit someone who was heavily in debt. Man, this dude. At least we got another clue, I guess. Now, whilst we're out doing that, we got another recording from Marillo. So let's play this. Here's thing. what Here I got, got on Rex. 
He blows a lot of hot air about being an entrepreneur, but the only business he's ever registered is his motivational company, where okay. he's the only employee. <laughs> okay. I dug up, up some posts online saying he's running some sort of scam. Find out that. more about this. Right, the scam. I hope I don't see anything strange again. Yeah, me too. Always gonna say, what are you talking about? Your vision of Maya? Oh, I forgot to ask you. What, what did you see? I saw her live looking at a photo of her friends. I saw her turning around to. We can completely like tell this dude the false information. When I opened the case file, she was looking at me. What? Um, why would it give us the option for false things we can tell him though? I saw her live looking at a photo of her friends. Must be an empathetic electroplasm imprint. A strong emotion etched into the material of the phone itself. Transferred to the user through touch. That's kind of like relating to one of those urban legends in, I can't remember the culture. Like something is stored in the object of them doing something at that moment in time, I think it is. Are you making this up? What kind of cop are you? So wait, Maya's trying to communicate? I think Murillo does really believe in this side of stuff. So no way of knowing for sure. But that's at least my working theory. Anyway, these visions are mostly harmless, thanks to the report. Mostly? Hang on a second, bro, are you there? Well, we never found out what happened to those who went missing or died after experiencing these things, but don't worry, you're under my watch. I won't let anything happen to you. Maybe once we solve this, we'll figure out your strange experience too. And he goes offline, just like that. Now, the fashion email. We should probably restore this file. Uh, ties with Aria relating to a fashion brand. Let me check my mail. Wait, hold up, it just simply says reconstruct, so Maybe we can't do that. Arya's determination, perhaps that could be the clue, right? Let's see. Ever try again. Okay, maybe we wanna look back through the chat here. We did read through this in the past episode, so we'll look for the part where maybe she has ties to a fashion brand. Okay guys, so we're taken to social media. We start with Arya. Let's look through a post and see if anything pops out immediately. We'll scan through and just, I guess, read the descriptions. First one is a video message here. Hola, chicas. Okay. All right, so as you can see, I've already done my eye makeup, but I haven't touched on the most important thing yet. Can you tell what it is? Okay, so she's doing a makeup. I'm scrolling through. I don't think this is a sponsor though. I think this is just her, I guess, doing what an influencer does. So we'll scroll through these nice and quick. Oh, hold up, the scan icon. I truly struggled for a long time to feel comfortable in my own skin. One thing about getting older and wiser is recognizing that your inner bombshell is gorgeous no matter what other people say about you. Oh, that's, oh, Maya's admiring message. Aria is the most hardworking person I know. She's dealt with so much just to be here. None of you should have survived what she's been through. She's my inspiration. No one messes with my bestie. Okay, well, that's nice, at least. However, ooh, we're still looking for a sponsor. Finally sponsored. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold up. We'll scan this. Aria announces her partnership with the Alluren brand, but commenters are pointing out some discrepancies in this announcement. I'm sorry, but something about the video is wrong. Don't they call themselves muses? She said she's been an ambassador. Look, she didn't even tag them. That's weird. I think you can call that hotline and website to report them. Uh, hang on. What's happening with this video? Let's flip this. Guys, so, so that's her intro. Super exciting news. A sponsor, right? Guess who's the latest Alluren brand ambassador? <laughs> okay. So I'm totally honored by this opportunity because I love, love, love the Alluren brand ethos, which is stay true to yourself. Now, you queens know that I only ever support brands that I really, truly believe in because All right. I'm that no typography. beauty bar and you lovelies made me, so I gotta keep it real. And it was a fake sponsorship. It wasn't even the real deal, though. Harry, you freaking bullcrap feed. What about if we put the ambassador of Aluren? Is this the right thing? It was for the fashion email. Recovering an email of Araya discussing Aluren's rejection of her application. The liaison might have more info about the situation. Dear Aria Park, your application to become an Aluren muse has been received. Unfortunately, due to the sheer volume of apps, our review process has taken longer. In the meantime, you can follow up on the website through the hotline. Look forward to hearing from you. Maya, I'm beyond annoyed. Such an inconvenience. Look at this. Can you believe this bull? Due to the sheer volume, how hard do I have to try? Like, I can't even get it. I'm clearly perfect for this. If only I had a friend who could help me out. A friend with connections at Aluren. A friend who slays at fitness and curating diet plans. A friend I dearly respect. But seriously, if you know anyone on the inside, please let me know, okay? Okay, love you, bye. Morello's sending us another audio. Look, we're okay. running out of time here, so we yeah, gotta yeah, wrap yeah. this up fast. All right. Hold Aria on a looks like a nice enough girl, but my gut tells me she's got a lot more insecurities than she's letting on. From experience, okay. someone like that is gonna do whatever they can for validation, even if they have to fake it. Which she I did think you should push right? her buttons on this. See if she's really as genuinely confident as she seems. Okay. Now the last one is Mina's image, a chat threat discussion about Mina's public image involving someone named Erica. So I imagine we might be able to find this again 
on her Chimera. So all we got to do then is scan through these as best we can. We'll brief over her posts, see if there's anything that stands out. We did see this one already, but I'm not sure if we can scan anything here. Nope. Mm, we got a video we can scan. They say time heals wounds, yet for me, time is a constant reminder of how long it's been since I lost my best friend. Music softened that pain, but I'll always carry her memory wherever I go. Okay, so what's the importance to scan here? The comments. Amina reveals that a personal tragedy has been a major source of inspiration for her music, but some of her fans are doubting this. Whoa, didn't know you were into that crash or that you knew Erica. Small world. Funny though, they always said the driver got away, but uh, Mina's saying they were caught. Well, hold up, so she was talking about Erica. Today is the 1st of August and it's my birthday. It also marks the time where I lost Erica in a car accident. Thankfully, they arrested the driver, but it still hurts. I want you guys to know about Erica because she's an important part of who I am. So every year, every birthday, I play this song as a tribute. Here's to you, Erica Simmons. I love you. Mina's image, Erica's full name, we now know that, so we can put that right there. This is the final image, or whatever it might be. Mina's image discussion. A discussion with Mina regarding her involvement in the road accident that led to Erica's unfortunate demise. The incident is also further detailed in a police report. Okay. Oh man, we've recovered a load of messages here. So, have you thought about it, Mina? You mean my backstory? Yeah, but also my idea about using Erica, unless you have anything. Wait, I don't know, it feels kind of scummy, even low. Can I really use the accident her death to boost? All art is a tortured soul. That was stupid. Do you trust me? You know I do. Then, yeah, I think you should. My perspective on Maya just changed. It's just, what really happened is not that interesting. Then dramatize it a little. Documentaries do all the time. No one's going to dig out a police report or anything. Besides, it happened in Springwood, so hardly anyone knew. So, like, fluffing it up? Yeah, just tweaks here and there. You want to inspire people with your music, right? I do. Use your pain. A lot of people can relate to trauma. Seeing you strong, persevering, and succeeding, that's powerful. I'm not sure if I'm good enough to pull this off. Mina, stop selling yourself so short. You've got more talent in your little pinky than most of these trash musicians. You just need to apply yourself better and believe in yourself, because... I believe in you. Maya, Mina's mentor. Maya guides Mina through a difficult time encouraging her to be better. That's like the nicest thing anyone has ever said, but you're right. A good story gives people hope. I think I'm starting to see what you mean. It gives me an idea for a new song too. Well, there you go. Thank you, Maya. You're a good friend. Happy to help. That's... I don't like that, dude. I really don't like that. Marilla with an audio you know, file again. for someone who's such a tragic rock star, I don't buy any of Mina's melodrama. I don't think There's I do no record either, right? of any of her stories. Oh, okay. See if she mentions any specific incident. Something you can look up on the police database. It right. covers everything from murder to accidents. Aha. Uh -huh. So lots of possibilities then. Loads of new networks and ways we can take this too. This warden app is really something. Yeah, let's talk about that, Morello. He seems to be knowing everything I'm doing. I'm damn glad the department spent money on this at least. How's it working out for you? No problems restoring? The software is amazing. I feel like I'm prone into private matters. For sure but we've got to be doing this, right? Privacy is overrated. Criminals use it as a cover to hide secrets. Besides, Maya's dead. Don't feel too bad. Everyone has the right to privacy, whatever it takes to get the bad guys. That's a harsh view. That certainly is a very harsh view. Uh, let's say the bottom one, dude. He's very, very stuck in his own ways. Justice is swift and true. It doesn't care how anyone feels. And now, now it's not the time for trivial debates. Enough chit chat. We have to get back to work. And he's just offline straight away again, dude. We have a lot of new things that we have to do. All right then guys, for this episode here, we're gonna leave things. So we delved a lot deeper into Maya's phone. We actually had a vision of something going on with her. So that's interesting. And we've also learned about the simulacrum. The simulacrum then is another manifestation within social media and stuff. And it's taking the form of what we know now as the Ripple Man. And we've got to delve deeper into that. We've got to find who actually sacrificed Maya to the Ripple Man, if anyone at all. And we also have to see if anyone slips up in the process of telling us about that stuff. So a lot of exciting things to come, man. I'm hyped for the next episode. But thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you knew around here. Why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy and I will, of course, see you on the next one.